hello I just arrived at my internship and it's a bit chilly today so I'm gonna have my English accent and uh, yeah we're gonna go see what there is to do today perhaps today I will have a computer to use and perhaps today I'll actually have some auditions and other things to do I haven't I have been taskless lately so hopefully there are actual tasks today yeah <laughs> finally oh. Hello. <laughs> it's a whole new world over here. <laughs> this is the new computer desk. Super. Stop touching all my things. I have a computer now. A little desk. I need a little decoration, but that's a good idea. It's usable. Birthday to you. I hope you guys are having a great week. Um, today is November 11th and I am at People's Store again. And um, it's actually the first day in about a week that the sun has been out again. And so today it's like 70 degrees outside. So it feels really good, but I'm kind of, I'm kind of more so dressed for like the morning. Um, it was a little bit chillier this morning, but um, it's so beautiful outside and I kind of don't want to go in today because I'm going to be inside all day. Well, that would basically have been spending my entire day inside. Um, so I really want to like be outside today because it's just so nice. So I have at least like two more weeks of school, like actual classes. Um, Thanksgiving break is the week after next. Um, so that makes about two weeks of classes. And then finals, which I only have one of those, and I have two papers to write, um, and one presentation. So, and I get this presentation done next week, so I'm pretty much, like, done by next week. That's how it feels. Um, and I think that makes three weeks left of People's Store. I don't know exactly if I'll be here during Thanksgiving week, so I'll probably talk about that today and ask about that today. It looks like I only have... 61 minutes left on this camera, so I probably won't record very much. I had to play that one off <laughs> See the sun is blazing. I can't even open my eyes all the way. Oh my gosh oh. All right, here we go. 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 Go 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 Hey, how are you? I like your sweater. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's us. Is that a new one? I guess. It looks like the same thing that was on the table. That was last, the last one. I'll take one. Thanks. Oh, this is talent issue. Uh, the other one is different? Well, I have one similar to this, but I don't think it's talent. Okay. Cool. Take one. Anybody else that you know, if you see them looking, tell them to take one. Thanks. We're talking about the Oz issue. It's like um publication that Georgia Film Department produces, so people in the film industry can have it all in one place. Hi. Hello. Hey. hey. Cool glasses. <laughs> Thank you. I'm flipping through this magazine. It's Oz magazine. Yeah, let's go. You definitely flip through it. I, have, I was just looking at the pictures. Okay. They like went around to different agencies in town and said like, what's your top 10? And we had a very like, we had internal conflict as to whether we should do it because 10 is not a lot. I mean, we have a ton of awesome clients. Are we no. in there though? No, we're. Uh, we decided not to do it. Oh, okay. We yeah, we decided because like, you look at these people. Some of them, and you look at them and like, I don't know these people. Like, what are they from? But I, I, I don't know. I just, it was the right thing to do. I think. Yeah. It was just like what, if 
if we put our folks in here, if we only select 10 of our greatest actors, whatever that means, whatever's, you know, any age range, any ethnicity, what happens to like the, I don't know, 100 other people that could just easily be in the place too? Hmm. So it just, it was going to cause way too much strife among here and then um, among your the talent. talent and yeah. Then, um, but good heart, people that? store. <laughs> Rick Wright did his thing, and um, this is one of our actors. He's also the president of SAG at the Atlanta branch. And he is, oh, wow. his, I like this image, like his resume following in his face. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't even notice. You can do that. I can stick it in my office. Sure. Documentary. <laughs> <laughs> She's doing a vlog of her internship. Bye. See you guys next week. All right, I'm leaving for until next week, and um, I learned a valuable lesson about life. Um, one thing that's really cool is that today, earlier, my school sent me an email about a sizzle, a sizzle reel, like loud truck right there sent me an email about like a sizzle reel like forum or information session or whatever and they talked about um, a group called All Three Media coming to Georgia State to you know basically do like this session to help us create a sizzle reel and when I first read it I was like what the heck is a sizzle reel like I don't think I care about that Anyway, <laughs> I'm bringing this up because the great lesson of this all. Are these airline tomatoes? Yeah. Oh gosh, commercials. The great lesson of this all is that. One second. Oh, the great lesson of this all is that I didn't know what a sizzle roll was, but but I went to my internship today, and apparently we had an email come in through one of our clients that talked about something with the sizzle reel and I was like wow that's interesting that came up again so what the heck is that and so it made me like go to ends to figure out okay what is a sizzle reel because now it's coming up in areas where I need to know what it is and I, need, I should know what it is so I looked it up and now I know what it is apparently a sizzle reel is basically kind of like a cool way to give you know um, a network or you know some backers an idea of the content and the style of maybe the show that you are um, hoping that they will support or pick up all right that's all for me today in my internship at people store